What's up everybody? Well today I'm here to show you another vacuum that's in my vacuum collection. This time it's something a little bit different than what you're used to seeing on this channel. Here I have for you today is a Simplicity 7350 upright vacuum. This is part of the 7 series of Simplicities, which is equivalent to the Recar 8 series, you know, the 8850, 8955, those kind of vacuums. This is essentially just the Simplicity version of that. I bought this actually from a local seller for about 80 bucks. May have paid a little bit more than I should have for one of these. But... Considering how much these things go for on eBay, I figured that was quite a good deal. Especially since I bought one locally. And I've always wanted a Simplicity ever since I had that Recar 8955 years ago that I bought from a pawn shop. Link to the video of that vacuum in the description of this video. So I got this. And turns out this thing did need a bit of things done to it. For one, it obviously needed new headlight bulbs for both headlight lenses because these simplicities actually take two headlights, which is one of the two things that's unique about them. And another thing this ended up needing was a new power cord. As you can see, this one has a generic black replacement cord instead of just the gray one that you normally would find. And also, I needed a couple extra attachments. And you will probably see those later as I go through this vacuum showing off its features. And which, by the way, let's go ahead and do that right now. So, the Simplicity name is actually one of the higher-end vacuums made by Tacconi. It's definitely a little bit more unique compared to the Ricard variant. It's got this very nice loop style handle, which has a very comfortable grip. You do have your thumb operated power switch on the front of the handle. Very similar to that of uh, the design of Panasonic, which pretty much Tacconi and various other companies pretty much used the Panasonic design for many years. I mean, this mostly started ever since Tacconi partnered with Panasonic back in the 80s when they developed their own vacuum that was pretty much a rebadged version of a Panasonic Jetflow. And the rest is history. So, anyway. Moving on, you do have your cord right here. This is a black replacement cord. It does work. I did end up needing to buy this because the original gray cord that was on it had literally exposed wires coming out of the cord. It apparently still worked, but I wanted to replace the cord ASAP as soon as I found that out because that was an electrical hazard. As you can see, I still have the original strain relief right down there. Just spliced in the new wires to this cord, and it works just fine. So as we move along down here, one of my favorite things about the 7350 model is this nice dark green color scheme which is a thing because the these old 7350s came out, I think, probably in the late 90s to early 2000s alongside the Recar 8850 of the time. There was a later version of this called the, the Recar 7850, which was the maroon red version that came late after this one. It, this is essentially that one's predecessor, but it's overall the exact same vacuum, just different color. There was also another version, the 7750, which essentially was the same color as this came out about the same time the 7850 did, but it didn't have the clutch operated system that this has. And let's go ahead and show you the bag on the inside. Just push that to open it. It has the Simplicity slash Recar Type A HEPA bag. This particular one is by EnviroCare. So it filters very good than even the paper bags do. 
And down here you do have your little post motor filter. Unfortunately, I didn't have any filters that were model specific to this, so I just cut and fit this filter and it it works fine just how it is. And right down here you do have your controls for your clutch operated brush roll. You'd right here you for your bare floors and then pull it back for your carpet and also back here you do have your post motor filter the the filter mount of this is pretty flimsy and i'm debating whether or not whether i should source a replacement but because this honestly feels like it's literally about to break off because Ooh, yeah, I, I don't want to do that anymore. So anyway, probably going to have to look for a replacement, but I also had to cut out some filter material that I had originally for a Recar 8850, which I bought initially as a replacement back when I had my 8955, not realizing that there were different post-motor filters designs for those. And there are also different post-motor filter designs for these Simplicity 7 series as well. 7850 does take a little bit different of a filter than this does, but... Unfortunately, I don't want to risk breaking this off just to try and get it off. So, also down here, you do have some lettering that's broken off or just scratched off over years. There's the model number right there, 7350. This definitely had some good use out of it over the years, but it also shows just how durable these cleaners really are so now let's go ahead and flip this thing on its back to show you the underside I just took the hose out right here just to prevent it from getting a kink right there so here is the brush roll to this it is an aluminum metal brush roll very standard Taconi with these incredibly stiff nylon bristles they agitate and clean very well. These are honestly a lot more stiff than some of the Panasonic equivalent brush rolls on their vacuums. So this thing has excellent carpet cleaning performance. And similar to the Panasonics, and unlike the Recar version, this actually uses a latch system to take off the bottom plate. And right here, you do have a little wheel axle right here. We'll go over why this has that later. And then here's your belt system right here. And the clutch system is operated by right here. So move that, and that'll move the brush roll to the hard floor position, which allows it to freewheel. Put it back to carpet, and it grabs on, and the brush roll will be spinning. This is... Yeah, brand new belt. However, I'm debating whether or not I should use the Panasonic style belt because it may have a little bit better tension to, for better torque to the brush roll because this is a generic replacement belt, I should add. And I put it in this and as soon as I, I put the brush roll down on the carpet, it like stalled out. But as soon as I like tried vacuuming with it, it kind of started catching on and as soon as the belt heat up and shrunk, then it, it started working pretty good. So minor nuisance of the belt. And I don't know whether or not I should have gotten a, probably should have gotten a genuine simplicity belt. So anyway, just snap that back in place. This bottom plate does have a bad habit of not latching on perfectly. So that's one minor nuisance that I have with this, but still a, a great vacuum despite that. I don't really have any main issues as far as cleaning performance goes. And also one final thing about this front wheel axle I forgot to mention. This is one thing that was specific to simplicity. Compared to Recar, which pretty much mounts the wheels, the rear wheels on the base of the cleaner, like a Panasonic, so when you recline it, the wheels will 
kick underneath and allow the brush head to float on the carpet. That's not how simplicities work. They did things like any other vacuum would where you have the front wheels that lift the brush off the carpet when it's in its upright position. And when you recline the vacuum back, the brush head, if I can demonstrate it perfectly, the brush head will simply drop down onto the carpet. See? And you have your wheels mounted, recessed in right here. Some people love this design, some may not like it compared to what Ricard used, but in my experience, this actually works pretty good. May not be as maneuverable as the Ricard version, but it still cleans surprisingly very well. I kind of like this design a little bit better because it allows the brush wheel to dig deep into the carpet a bit better than the floating head design of the Ricard. So as we move along to the back here, we do have your tools for like your crevice tool, which these are replacement tools, I should add. The crevice tool, your dusting brush, and your upholstery tool. These are all replacement tools. This one may be missing a little brush attachment at the end. And it does have its original extendable wand though, so that's one thing. And you have your short hose right here that mounts down there, and you could use it right here. There is an optional hose extension that you can buy for this, which I would strongly recommend doing it. They also do make aftermarket hose kits for it, so you could plug it in at the back here and use their, that hose, which would definitely work, work great. And one thing I do like about this particular hose design is that it's not like the Panasonic's with the quick draw wand setup or some other vacuum companies that would use an equivalent knockoff, but the hose has such a short travel distance that it allows for much better airflow because of that. And further to that, these simplicities, the high-end model 700 series and even the high-end Ricard 8 series used a two-stage motor with two impeller fans to gener that allow the motor to run at a lower RPM while creating very high airflow and quite good suction for what it is, but usually the twin fan motors were designed for a much better airflow. And here's your model number right here. It's the Simplicity Household Cleaner Model 7350. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 12 amps motor in the motor. Made in the USA with out, globally outsourced components. If anyone knows how to serial date these, please chime in, but I would have to say this has to be at least like late 90s to early 2000s. And after all that, I think I pretty much showed you all I can around this. So let's get to the part that you guys have been desperately wanting to see, the turning on and running. So now let's go ahead and release the power cord. I always like to run my hand down to make sure that the cord's not gonna get any tangles. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this guy in. And now we will go ahead and turn this thing on and demo it running. So as you can see, compared to the Ricard with the wheels mounted on the base, when you release the handle, the brush head will drop onto the carpet. And so let's go ahead and get rolling here. <laughs>
very smooth and is very nice and powerful. The agitation is just amazing, knowing how stiff the bristles are. And that two-stage motor produces so much airflow to the point that this thing pretty much has probably power that's on par with a direct air vacuum. And let's go ahead and demonstrate this guy in tool mode before I close out the video. You have a little bit of suction leakage from right there, but that's not really too major of a deal. this thing to extend on me and I know a lot of a lot of you are gonna be picking on me in the comments section for not getting this thing to extend right you know who you are but anyway with that said I hope you've enjoyed this video on the simplicity 7350 7 series upright vacuum be sure and stay tuned and don't forget to like rate comment and subscribe Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.